Remember to get your Mr. Whiskers merch at hellojuniper.com slash Zachary. Hi, my name is Zachary. I was born in Sarasota, Florida. The beginning of my life started in Venice, Florida though. My mom and dad got a house there, and it was just them and my brother and I. And sometimes my grandparents, they would come visit us time to time. So I had a pretty normal life. My dad would go to work, my mom would go teach her class, and my brother and I would go exploring in the backyard. We'd always hunt down butterflies and catch them, or just go bird watching. We were really fascinated by nature. I remember my brother and I would always make these forts in our backyard, and then some of the neighbor kids would come play with us and make their own forts. We'd play games like capture the flag, or freeze tag. Eventually, it was time to go to school. I remember the very first day of school was very scary to me. I remember I would hide behind my mom when we were walking to my class. And when we got to my class, one of the boys started laughing at me. I knew he was laughing at me for hiding behind my mom, but what could I say? I was scared. It was my first time moving to a new place, and I didn't know anyone at the school. When my teacher saw me, she told me to stand in front of the class and introduce myself. But I was stuttering so much that I got really embarrassed and just asked if I could sit down. Luckily, my teacher was really kind, so let me go to my seat. Immediately, I ran to my seat embarrassed and looked straight down. I tried to ignore some of the other kids right beside me talking and whispering. I didn't know if they were talking about me or not. But around lunchtime, some of the kids started talking to me. And it wasn't so bad. Soon enough, I made a lot of friends at school. Except for this one kid, Blake. He was a total jerk. That kid would bully a lot of people there. Except, he would mostly bully me for some reason. A lot of my friends told me it was probably because he was jealous of me. I remember Blake would love to frame me though for some of the bad stuff he did. Like this one time, the teacher had to leave the classroom for a minute to take a call. And Blake quickly ran to the whiteboard and scribbled all over it. And when the teacher came in, he said I did it. And to make things worse, he made his friends back him up. The teacher sadly believed him, even though some of my friends were telling her that it was all fake. And that I never did anything. The teacher really did take Blake's side a lot. I don't really know why though. She was really nice to me, but would always send me to the principal's office whenever I got framed for doing something bad. Even though it wasn't fair, I still loved my school. And my new friends I had made. I remember one day after school, my dad had brought home a computer. My brother and I asked him if we could try it out for the first time. And he let us. Soon, I found out about YouTube, and I started watching countless hours of videos each day. Eventually, my brother and I decided to make our own YouTube channel. We started recording videos of us playing video games, but no one saw it. But it didn't matter to us, we were really proud of our videos. Eventually, we told some of the kids at our school about our channel. After I told the class about my channel, some of the kids there started making fun of me, or would poke fun at my channel. At first, I didn't let it get to me, but every day, kids would poke fun at my channel and make jokes about it. So, I got embarrassed and deleted my channel, cause I just wanted the jokes to stop. Also, I kinda lost interest about making videos, cause of how embarrassed I was. So, I started playing sports instead in my free time, with my friends and my brother. Or, I'd go exploring still in the backyard with my bro. But, one day, my dad came home excited. He quickly yelled out for the family to meet him in the living room. And when we got there, he was telling us that we were gonna move to a new house. Immediately, I freaked out. I asked him what about my school and my friends I had made. But, both of my parents already had had agreed we'd be moving, so I couldn't really do anything about it. So after I said my goodbyes to my friends, we moved. And the new house wasn't so bad. It was bigger than our old house, except there was only one thing that could have been better. When we were going to bed, all of a sudden we heard a ton of frogs making these croaking noises in the backyard. Our backyard was infested by frogs. They were everywhere, and they kept us up in the middle of the night. So the next day, my dad made a deal with my brother and I. He said that if we got four frogs, he'd give us a dollar. So we started catching frogs the next day. We probably got hundreds of them, and after we were finished, we'd go relocate locate them somewhere else at some other pond. Now, some time had passed while we were living at the new house, and my mom and dad weren't really getting along. I remember they used to have their fights once in a while, but this morning was a bit different. I remember waking up to hearing glass break in the kitchen, and when I ran to see what had happened, I saw my dad driving away, and my mom crying in the kitchen. My brother and I knew something was changing, and as much as we tried to ignore it, our parents separated that day. Now, I love both of my parents very much, but I missed my dad. For the most part, it was just me, my brother, and my mom all living together. I didn't really see my dad after he left that day. And for the first time ever, 
I spent my birthday without him. This was probably one of the hardest years of my life. I never thought this day would even happen. I thought my family would always be together. I even remember that a kid at school once told me he was jealous of me having a mom and a dad. And I never knew what he meant until then. So for a while, I kind of changed. I got really depressed, and I didn't really want to talk to any of my friends anymore. I had made some new friends at school, but I stopped talking to them. And even after they tried inviting me to their parties, and to just hang out somewhere, I always turned them down, or pushed everyone away. It wasn't anyone's fault, don't get me wrong, it's just, I was going through a lot. Around this time is when me and my brother started playing video games again. It just helped us mentally. Whenever we got sad about all the stuff that was going on, we just played games with each other and tried making each other laugh. Now around this time, I started doing YouTube again. I thought, why not give it a shot? I enjoyed doing it, but just never had the time to. So I started uploading videos again. And to my surprise, things went great. I remember the day I hit 100,000 subscribers. My brother and I were freaking out. We never thought that'd even be possible. And along the journey, I met some amazing friends that I still have today. I met my friend Amber first. I was really shy when I first met her, but she was a really good friend. And soon she introduced me to some of her friends. And I can't believe we've been friends for so long now. I remember when I first met everyone, I was so shy. But after a while, we just bonded really well. And I can't thank them enough. They helped me get through a lot of stuff. Now, fast forward. Last year, I met Alex. You may know her as Inquisitor Master. We started off by just watching movies together and playing games. I met Alex through YouTube, and I asked her if she wanted to hang out. Soon, we were watching movies together and playing games. And when I went through some tough times in my life, she was there for me no matter what. Eventually, I fell in love with her, and one day I asked her out. And, to my surprise, she said yes. The tough part is that she lived in Texas, and I lived in Florida, so we were so far apart from each other. But I was so in love with her that I decided to move to Texas so I could be with her. Eventually, I met her parents and her cool bro. Her brother and me are like tight. I consider him one of my best friends. And her parents are so cool. I'm proud that I'm able to call him my family. I made this video to thank you all for 1 million subscribers. It really means a lot, everyone. I always wanted to hit a million subscribers, but I never thought it'd be possible. But you guys made it come true. But yeah, thank you everyone so much for making my dreams come true. Without YouTube, I would have never Never met Alex or any of my friends. So thank you everyone, the fans, for making this possible. Without you guys, I don't know where I would be right now. But I hope you all enjoyed this video everyone. It took me a long time to make, so if you enjoyed it, remember to drop a like. And also subscribe to the channel if you are new, join the Z Squad today. But without further ado everyone, this is Zach signing off. I love y'all, I'll see y'all tomorrow, goodbye. And thank you for 1 million subscribers!